Hey you guys, streamer 37 x bringing you episode 45 of Epic Battle Fantasy V. Last time, we made some more progress into the Mystic Woods, and we at long last got the step ladder, as you can see uh, over here. Um, this is a pretty, this is pretty significant. Most of the stuff we can get is in this area, actually, particularly, uh, all of these top, all the stuff is in the treetops, basically. Um, we're gonna be showing that off a little bit, we're basically, we're just gonna work our way from left to right as far as that stuff goes, but before we do that, I wanted to go and pick up all of the kind of, like, more incidental things along the way that we can pick up. So, right off the bat, I mean, this is just right here, so we're, ju we're just gonna pick that up, just because it's, it's literally free. And then, uh, there's also one other thing that was just right down here that we couldn't get at the time, I think? Uh, yes, okay. Yes, yeah, so we can do this now. Um, this, we're still gonna have to wait on this for a little bit. Uh, we'll get to that in due time, though. So, we've got that, and now I will see you guys, and we're just gonna kinda work our way through a couple of these, uh, these little things we can do now, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so first up, here in the Iron Fortress, there's, I believe, two things we can do here now. We can get this, which this was actually one I didn't realize until I played through this on, on YouTube here, where I realized you can actually put ladders in all these spots, and now you can investigate all these, uh, these monolith bits here. You get a dark bottle, so you actually get a piece of uh, equipment from this, which is pretty significant. Some dark runes, which are always nice. They're pretty rare, and they're used in a fair amount of different things. So, really quick, let's go ahead and... Oops, that's right the first time. Let's go ahead and check out the dark bottle here. Uh, magic, magic attack oriented. Pretty nice resistances, about what you'd expect. Defending buffs magic attack by 80%, uh, which is pretty nice. Potentially, at least, if you want them to get, like, slightly more magic attack than you would probably get from Natsa's skill. Um, I think that's probably good. But you can kind of see it's very magic attack oriented. Actually, really quick, just just because we might as well. Let's. I don't think I actually want to permanently use this, but let's let's see what if it gains anything interesting. Nope. Okay, doesn't do anything interesting. Um, uh, here I'm actually just gonna look because I don't really want to. The dark runes are still pretty rare, pretty hard to come by right now, so I'd rather hold on to them for the moment at least. Um. Oh, it was, it was one screen left here. Uh, yeah, we had this... At least I think it was over here, wasn't it? Oh, it was? Okay. It's technically here. Yeah, you go from this way. This is a bit of a... Uh, wait, what? Oh, no, no. I, I, I was thinking too much. It's just right here. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you came from the other screen or something. Okay. So we get another golden ticket. And a couple pretty hard to come by, actually, um, craftable items there. So that's pretty nice. Um, I will see you guys now, I think, over... I guess we're just gonna go all the way back here. This is... There's only a couple things we have to do at the moment, but, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys over there. Okay, and last but not least, we have, um, this one over by Hope Harbor right outside Matt's house. I'll see you in those. This flower actually grows back. Like, I think, uh, a few of the other flowers throughout the game actually do that. Um, we got this one here, which has been taunting us pretty much since the beginning of the game. Just some nice craftables, but, uh, gold plates are certainly going to be used for a lot of things, so that's, that's always nice. And, actually, I noticed... As we're walking through this, I don't know when this track. I mean, based on when it appeared for me, I have to assume this. the trigger for this is probably right around when you get the step ladder. But if you go into the warp zone here, you'll notice there's a, um, there's a, there's a young man over here. <laughs> uh, bard. Doesn't look very happy. Okay, so this, I, like I said, I assume this appears after you get the step ladder or something. Um, so he tells you basically what he says. These are hints. Well, not really hints. They basically tell you exactly what they are. These are character pairs that you have not been using very much. So here we have Matt and Nat. Um, Nat and Lance. We have Anna and Lance. Pretty much most people don't like Lance, is what I've learned. Nat and Anna. Matt and Anna. Lance and Matt. And you'll also notice that no legs isn't anywhere in there. I don't know if I've talked about this before. Um, basically, there's a hidden stat. There are hidden stats in this game that track character relationships with each other. Here, we're actually just going to walk back while we're doing this. Um... Each of the four human characters have a relationship um, stat, I guess, basically, with uh, with all three of the other characters. No Legs is exempt from this. Everyone loves No Legs. And uh, No Legs being in the fight actually boosts the other two characters' relationship by three. Um, so, so, for example, at the very end, if you have, like, Lance and Matt or something, is the only pair that's low, and you can tell that by the bard. Then you can have Lance, Matt, and No Legs, and then it'll improve their relationship three times as fast. Um, yeah, so basically, it has mostly hidden effects on the game. I don't even fully understand what it does. 
uh, but either way, basically, uh, uh, you just want to try and keep the relationships high. And that, that bard appears to help you keep up with it. You notice right now, pro I think most of our pairs need work. Um, but I think, like, almost all of them. Because we just got it. It takes a little while for the, for the pairings to become, um, satisfactory, I guess. Um, so that's just something you'll kind of want to work on as you go through the game. Uh, you don't really have to worry about it that much for quite a while, so it's no, you, it's really no rush, but, um... Basically, if you swap out your characters a lot, if you make sure that you get good usage out of everyone as you play the game, you probably won't have to worry about it. Um, not gonna count any more dead ends up here. Yes, now that we have the ladder, we can pretty, pretty much freely explore this area, which is really nice. Um, okay, don't need to capture any of these guys. Weak to dark. Okay, let's do, uh... Uh, let's just kind of have no legs go to town here. Uh, okay. And then we're gonna do this. Just nice and simple. This will probably take care of him, though. And then just go for that. Okay. Yep. Easy peasy. Alright, not too bad. Sorry. I'm just checking something here. It's okay. Okay. Uh, thanks for the free tan. <laughs> that was awfully nice of him. Okay. I just like that, and it's really, it seems so dramatic, and then just like two little, just two little lily pads go by. Okay, let's see, dark, holy, holy, earth. Uh, I guess we'll, I guess we'll go for holy this time around. And we'll do this, just to weaken their defense a little bit. Oh, okay. I guess that also works. I really was not expecting that, to be perfectly honest. Okay. Let's go for one of these guys. It's pretty close, actually. Uh, in that case, uh, yeah, yeah, let's let's do this. As long as one of them hit, yep, perfect, absolutely perfect. Oh, no legs is a bit low actually. I didn't even notice. Okay, fade down, getting poisoned. Man, these guys are these guys are getting kind of messed up. Uh, okay, so let's see this. It's actually better to just use this single target twice. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, that, okay. That also did more than I was expecting. Let's... Oh, I don't have you have armor crush yet. I need to fix that. Okay. I think we have dispel, don't we? Yeah, okay. 85%. That's pretty likely to work. Okay. I was, I was honestly pretty much expecting that to... Oh, I should have probably used her earth attack. Yeah. That being said, I think no legs is still going to be better. Yeah, okay. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, I haven't done skill work in a really long time, have I? You know, I should I should probably get on that here. I think we're gonna maybe clear out this screen here. Um, so you'll notice there's a few hidden pads, as expected. Uh, they're kind of everywhere. Uh, this is also actually a secret I missed for a while. Is that uh, you actually go into the back of this tree. That's how you get here. I saw this a while ago, and I was like, oh, I guess I must get here from, like... I thought this was maybe, like, a, like a ladder, so I had to, like, go from below or something. Just something I was missing. Uh, but anyway, this is, a, this is the ocarina. That's a quest item, as you might remember. And then we also get a wooden key. Uh, so that's pretty nice. How many wooden keys do we have? Three. Okay. So we have the ocarina. So I believe, yes, we can actually hand in this quest now if we wanted to. Um, we'll, we'll do that soon-ish. Um, here, let's... There's also this up here. Hidden chest. Human skull. Um, it's actually the skull of a child, which is nice. Um... Bit of a strange weapon here. We'll go ahead and upgrade that a bit. Uh, it's, it's actually elementless. Uh, it's got some okay resistances. Inflicts bad luck, which I guess is kind of nice. Randomly cast the Reaper. I don't know all the properties of this attack, but I know that its main claim to fame is instant killing. Um, so bes besides that, honestly, I'm not super sure what it does. I'll do one more. Increase the effect. Of okay, so max level it increases debuff skills, which is kind of nice. That's that's a pretty desirable trait to have, depending on how you want to build some of your characters. Um, okay, I think we're just gonna take care of this battle here, and then I, I think I actually will go and, um, uh, hold on, dark, fire, definitely want to kill the worms, you have, not AoE yet, okay, uh, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kinda let no legs do his thing here, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do this fight and then I will go hand in the quest. Just because quests, I, I usually recommend that you just you prioritize handing in quests. 
just because almost all of them do actually give you skills, and they're they're very worth your time to do. Like very worth your time. Um, so I, I highly recommend you take the time to turn those in most of the time. Um, guess we'll do this. Oh wow! I am honestly really surprised he actually did that. I was expecting him to go straight for uh, for the other for one of the flame raids. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I, I just didn't want to deal with the worms. Uh, yeah, I was I was fully expecting him to not do that. That's that's very um, it's very very pleasant surprise actually. I can I can dig that. All right, all right, no legs, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, here, let's, oh wait, you let's reach to water. I should definitely do this. What am I doing? Okay, Rip. missed that guy once. All right, uh, let's just do this. That's that's fine. He's gonna keep summoning more slimes, but the baby slimes are really not that much of a concern. I mean, their, their damage is, is very insignificant. <laughs> the raids at least have kind of spooky, annoying things that... Oh, okay. The big slime doesn't... A lot. Um, okay. Uh, here. We, we're, we're gonna need to... Okay, maybe I should have been prioritizing the slime a little bit more. Uh, here, let's do... No, wait, let's, let's just do... Uh, here, hold on, actually. Let me... Let's do this... There we go. Let's do that. Uh, Dream of building an empire is alive and well. God. Some people never change, I swear. Alright, let's do that. And then you can just heal him. We'll make sure we bring no legs back to life before the end of the fight, of course. But, uh, besides, I mean, he lost his attack buff, so he's not really that much of a concern. Uh, I was just about to say that attack can present. <laughs> I should have never seen that particular line. So many slimes. I, I, I probably should have done this a bit differently. That didn't weaken anyone, really. Okay, let's bring you out. Let's do this. I would really like to kill the. Oh, with this guy's. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he's he's very dead. Okay, let's see. Bomb. Uh, bomb or ice? Probably just go for bomb here. Yeah. Let's just do a couple of these. This, this this should do what I want it to do. Yeah, there we go. There we go, alright. Alright, not too bad. Uh, let's just heal for safety. Then we'll make sure we get no legs back up and running, and then we're, we're all set to go here. Okay. Slight, I'll be honest, slightly slightly more of an actual fight than I was expecting. But uh, still, still obviously not too bad. Yeah, let's just kill... Whoops! <laughs> Oh man, I was, that was definitely a misclick. <laughs> okay. Alright then. I, yeah, I completely missed a circle. <laughs> That's fine. Let's do... I mean, they are, they're like, oh, they're actually overlapping a bit, so I, I, I feel pretty justified in that mistake. Come on, oh, damn. Could've killed that mud slime. Oh, he's running anyway. Okay, that's fine. Jeez, they're really going in on no legs right now. Again. It's like every other fight. <laughs> okay. There we go. Slightly, very slightly more careful with that click. Uh, let's do this, and then it'll probably just die. Yep, okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, no legs finally got a level up there. I think everyone should be the same level now, right? Oh, no, he's actually ahead. Okay, he's ahead of, he's a bit ahead of the curve. Matt and Lancer and the two that are a bit behind. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, if we go this way, we're gonna have some more fights to go through. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go hand in that quest, so I'll be right back. Alright, back here in Greenwood. I'm actually gonna turn this off, just so we can, we can hear a little bit more of the new song. Um, hey. Hey. Okay, so this guy gives you air. Isn't that nice of him? <laughs> it's one of my favorite attack names, I think, in the game. Just air. Um, yep, wind attack, staggers. Uh, try to put this one aside to practice with this. Alright. Uh, maybe things will get better. Alright, let me just leave and come back and see if anything actually changes. I don't remember anything really happening with this quest. No, okay. Most of the quests change things around a little bit. Uh, it doesn't say anything interesting. Okay. Okay. So, air. Uh, I think I'm just gonna give it to you. You can go ahead and see who learns it here. Obviously, it's between her and Lance. I can see a case for either. They both have a lack of wind attacks. And in general, Lance is the one who generally has weaker, generally in general, 
Uh, he's the one who typically has worse type coverage. We're just gonna throw it on her for now, I think. Um, actually, he has a little bit more SP to burn, so... Or AP, sorry. Um, so you can see it is... It does... Uh, it upgrades about how you'd expect. Uh, it's gonna go to an AoE, I think, in one more step, so we'll just get it to here for now. Um, upgrades to Shockwave. You see, it's it gets pretty respectable. Basically, this has the exact same um, damage scaling as all of her. So you can see this does 90, and then it goes to 50 and 120. 90, 50, 120. It has the exact same damage progression as uh, Nats' attacks. Like, all of her, her basic attacks, these all do the same thing. Um, okay, it's actually a little bit different, I realize now, because the ones she learns are actually 50 and 100. But I know that at max level, they're all the same. <laughs> so, slight correction, I actually didn't realize that. Yeah, these are actually a bit weaker early on, but these, they they will all end up being exactly the same at max level. Um, so yeah, basically I don't find it that useful. Like, it's nice that you can get a little bit more type coverage on a couple of the characters that historically, um, well, mostly Lance that doesn't have it, or Nat that it's kind of nice. It's kind of fun that you can have pretty much every single element on Nat, but, um... I, I find that type of damage progression not very interesting because like they're mostly built around being efficient AoEs but a lot of the time AoEs are just not something you care about in high stakes battles because most of the time in high stakes battles you need high single target damage and her magic attacks quite frankly don't do that. <laughs> they are not very good high single target damage. Uh, but anyway, uh, we did all that walking around. You really don't have to. You can start from either end and kind of work your way over. Um, I just kind of want to work from this way just because this is where we picked up the ladder. So it's, it feels like the most natural kind of progression to take here. Um, okay, but I don't need to capture any of these guys. Master Raids. We're definitely going to want to take care of this guy. I think I think in the, the interest of getting that guy taken care of, we're going to do a... Uh, we're going to do a... Uh, high damage mat setup here instead. Uh, so let's do this. Debilitate, and you guys, you guys know the, you guys know the drill by now. So we're just gonna go for this. This should, I, I would definitely expect this to kill this guy. Oh yeah, that that was, I think that was over half his health. Or what? Over twice his health. <laughs> over half. I certainly would hope it's over half. Jeez, okay. Um, okay, so now, this is a single wave, so we can actually, holy, right, holy, yeah, okay. We can, we can go ahead and, uh, beef up no legs a little bit here. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just let him go here. I can't remember if I have a holy weapon or not, I should check, I should check for that, I, I honestly don't remember. I might have the, the, uh, book. In case I don't have it, I don't want to say exactly what it is, but it's 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 really nice. It's like the exact counterpart to the ride shield. I want to check if I have it because it's it's like one of my favorite equipments, one of my favorite pieces of equipment that he has. Um, I'm just gonna do this and then we can. Oh, that's even just gonna kill him. Okay, that works then. Let's just go for a bonk. <laughs> okay, what is what is the element of bones then in that case? So he resisted it, but he wasn't immune to it. So I don't think it was dark. I guess it, it could have been dark if it was 25% element, but more realistically, it's probably like, I don't know, poison or something? None of those other ones actually make any sense. I, I guess it would have to be poison unless it's 25% dark or something absurd like that. <laughs> okay. Um, here, let me, let me see if he has a holy weapon yet. He does not. Okay, that's unfortunate, but that's fine. I can't remember exactly where we get that either, but it'll it'll be nice when we get it, nonetheless. Okay, so we can rob these guys' tent. Um, some quiet time alone to read it. So there's a quest. How many of those do we have now? Oh, that's actually our first one? Okay. Thought we'd gotten one before. Alright, so just some nice craftables there. Get a box for a cup of coffee. <laughs> I, forgot, I, I, I remember enjoying this as much as the last time, because this box literally has two coffees on it, so you loot it and you get two coffees. I love that. Just, it's, it's the small things sometimes. Um, good morning, Captain. These woods are evil, man. Screw them. <laughs> These were the guys uh, protesting outside the Iron Fortress, I believe, right? That's the spirit. Um, none of it ain't right. Guess they won't be needing their stuff if they die. Uh, 
Sorry for screwing me the last time around. I don't want to die with regrets. <laughs> Alright, let's let's see how this fight is. One wave, alright. Alright, we'll, we'll get through this one here. Okay, so I've learned my lesson. I'm gonna kill this guy uh, as quick as I can. <laughs> no, we're not we're not messing around with that again. And actually, do we have No, I'm the single target. Okay. We're we're gonna we're gonna do this innovative strat where you I, I guess I shouldn't have tempered him then. That was a slight mistake, but that's fine. We can actually just do this instead. Um, this innovative strat where you berserk slime bunnies so that they will always attack you and it increases their attack so they actually heal you for more. Because see if... See, that's the problem with the slime bunnies is that... Oh, he actually gets to attack. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, that's the problem with slime bunnies is that they can sometimes heal their... They can sometimes heal their allies, if you can believe that. It's not very nice. But, um, basically, if you Berserk them, or, I think Siphon actually works as well. Um, so here, let's, whoops, hold on, there we go. Uh, let's actually try that. Let's, let's try Siphon, I think if you Siphon it as well, because if you Siphon it, it forces it to do the jump attack, and it can only do that against you. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, I mean, I guess we'll just Siphon everything. Oh, no, that is guaranteed. Yeah, never mind, I, I fixed that. Okay. He's blessed, though, so he didn't get Siphoned. Okay, so, both of these guys... These guys are now forced into jumping over to attack us, which then heals us. Has he? She, it's so nice. They even uh, they even did they even attacked the person who needed the health the most. So nice. So nice. Okay. Let's um. That's not really gonna do it. Let's let's do this. This should kill this guy. I don't know what I was expecting. Um, oh right, I was expecting it to kill him. All right, let's try this. No! Oh, you're killing me. Those guys aren't, but uh, the chocolate slime might. That's like, what, two or three hits? Okay. He is siphoned, though, so he couldn't do most of his more, de like, devastating, I guess, attacks, if you want to call him that. Right, let's go for this. Oh, no. No, don't kill the slimes. The slimes are nice. Alright, let's just finish these guys up, and I guess we'll do this. Are they even weak to water? Yeah, they are. Oh, so that was that was nice shooting there, honestly. She actually uh, completely dodged the one that I wanted to, that I that I wanted to stay alive. Uh, okay, let's uh... look. All right, I'm I'm no monster. Okay, I'm not I'm not a monster here. We're just gonna I'm just gonna do this nice and easy. Yeah, we we are gonna do this the easy way. All right, there we go. Hey, right, look, look. Now we have the slime bunny summon. Isn't that great? <laughs> Just, just recapturing because I'm, I'm not a monster. The, the slime bunnies are, uh, are just trying to help. Well, kind of. I, I really don't know what their motive is to be honest. Okay, to end it off, the dog sausage. <laughs> this is an interesting one. As you can see, intimidates dogs, bears, and mammoths. That alone, that's just interesting. Also, it's a fire weapon for no legs who doesn't naturally learn any fire attacks. And even with skills, I don't think we have a single fire extra skill at all, let alone one that he can learn. Yeah. Fire extra skills are, like, almost non-existent. Um, whoops, where... Oh, no, that is where I wanted to go. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's it's interesting. Boost the damage of fire. It doesn't even do that by default. Um, not that it's that useful anyway. Boost the power of healing and buff items. A little bit more interesting. A little bit more useful. Um, you see, it actually uses a dog to upgrade. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it at that for now. Um, it's interesting. In reality, there's very rare times you're actually going to want to use that unless you're trying to cheese out some dog encounters. Um, I think some of the dogs will actually surrender as soon as you enter the fight with that. So it's got some viability there. But anywho, thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check the description for a link to my Twitch.tv channel, where tonight I'll be streaming some more EBF 5. Not sure where I'll be at this point. We are very, very far into the game right now. Uh, we are we are approaching approaching the end. So um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to see where we're at and how things are going. Check out the description also for a link to my Discord if that's of any interest. Um, I really like keeping in touch with you guys. It's a good way to keep up to date on any changes to my live stream schedule and anything like that. I suspect this Friday, as of like a week in advance, there might be a special stream. So I'm not sure yet, but. Uh, Join the Discord if you want to learn more. But, um, anywho, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.